hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and thank you so much for tuning in so this is the last episode of the living abroad series and it's gonna be very short and to the point but i hope that you guys enjoyed the first two episodes of the series where i had some of my friends who are currently living abroad to come on here and answer your questions by sharing their own personal experiences and i really really enjoyed putting the videos together compiling those episodes and really also learning about how they were able to navigate some of the challenges that they encountered you know how they are coping with being away from home and all of that so i really really enjoyed it and i hope you also did i hope you found it valuable enlightening and informative as well and i guess the whole idea was to was to give you guys a full picture of the the abroad life because to be honest you don't get to see everything like the deep stuff on the socials on the socials what you see as the nice life you know the glamorous life um the soft life that's what you see when you see people who are currently living overseas you're like oh my god i also want to be there and of course it's nice that's true <laughs> but there are also challenges there are also difficulties that come with living overseas and being away from home hence the idea of this series and i thought why not answer the specific questions that you guys have and i hope we did justice i hope so so just to wrap it all up i thought i should do a bit of reflection and share one of the biggest sacrifices that i've had to make to be here yeah you gotta be willing to sacrifice something and to be honest for me i didn't really think about this before i came here but it's only after i started experiencing it that i was like hmm okay this is not nice it's really not and you're probably wondering what this sacrifice is well for me it definitely has to be missing out on the important milestones of family and friends Whew. Yeah, it's been difficult not being there to celebrate with my friends and family their big milestones, their important accomplishments, you know. I remember earlier this year, I think it was around May, if I'm not mistaken, my sister had a graduation ceremony. Everyone attended the, the ceremony and unfortunately i couldn't attend her graduation ceremony i honestly wanted to but i couldn't because number one i'm very very far away number two no prices for guessing it is expensive to travel um especially now like flight tickets are hella expensive they are super expensive so you don't just wake up and say i want to go home i want to go to south africa you have to plan in advance and so i couldn't be there and it was so sad and i think it was even more sad because i was with her throughout the journey you know um i know the ups and downs that she she has had to overcome in order to be at the end to conquer the edge and when the day finally came for her to celebrate her victory her accomplishment i could not be there and it was not nice to be honest yes i was genuinely happy for her but it would have been nice for me to be there and celebrate with her in person more so because she had been there they had been there when i accomplished my milestones but i couldn't be there sadly and all i could see was beautiful pictures beautiful memories being created and i wasn't there 
to experience all of this with them so that's been one of the the toughest things to be honest and even with some of my friends not being able to attend their housewarming parties because we're at that age where people are now starting to buy their own um, houses you know not being able to attend baby showers i mean people are also being fruitful and multiplying <laughs> and it's just so sad that you're not even there to experience all of these things with your people people are also getting married and when you're away you're not able to attend well but i'm still waiting for one of my friends to get married so that they can make me a bridesmaid at least the haiwaninyan just once please my beautiful friends please get married and invite me so i can become your bridesmaid <laughs> yeah but on a serious note though um being away from home also comes with great sacrifices and for me the biggest sacrifice that i've had to make um has been missing out on the big and important milestones of my friends and family and not only that but things like not being able to attend a funeral um a few months ago my grandmother passed away and i couldn't attend i really would have loved to be there you know but sadly i couldn't go so it's just one of those things uh that you think about and you're like hmm this is real i didn't think about this when i first came here or before i came here but now I'm feeling it. It's really not nice. And speaking about death, I remember I was having a chat with one of my friends who's also here at Uni Potsdam. And she was telling me that she lost her mom. She lost her mom while she was here. And she had to travel back home to bury her mom. I mean, when she left, her mom was still alive and I'm sure I believe I believe she was still in good health everything was fine and she came here for her studies hoping to go back and I'm sure do great things you know after everything is complete do great things for her mom spoil her um, do all these nice things you know but unfortunately it didn't happen it did not happen and it's one of the things that i think about as well Hori, what would i do if i were to lose one of my closest people while i'm still here of course i would have to go i would be forced to go you know but i don't know how i would handle that i, I don't know how i would cope to be honest it's just so difficult and of course i mean you can't control these things they happen and yeah it's just one of those things that comes with adulting being away from home making difficult decisions it's more like you say yes to something and no to the other or when you say yes to something automatically you cannot say no to the other in my case i said yes to coming to germany and experiencing all these beautiful things it's been a life transforming experience without a doubt without a shadow of doubt i've had the time of my life here but at the same time that also came with saying no to other things and those things include not being there when the people that I love, the people that are really close to my heart, celebrate great things, great accomplishments and big milestones. So I think, yeah, I just thought I should 
talk about this because it's something that is very important and if you are considering to move abroad or live abroad at some point in your life definitely think about this and this is not to discourage you in any way nope but it's just to make you aware and of course this differs from person to person uh, this is my own personal experience this is what i've been experiencing and it might be different for other people and that's okay so definitely think about it because it is very 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 important yes yes so yes guys that is basically all i wanted to share with you and to just officially close this series and say it's been great it's been wonderful i've enjoyed it and i hope you guys also enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed this three-part series and i hope you've learned a thing or two from my beautiful guests of honor <laughs> Alrighty, until next time please uh -uh, before i leave please give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you haven't done so subscribe <laughs> Please, please subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance. Until next time, please take care of yourself. Bye.